Good morning, readers. Well, here we are at the end of February already and and well into the new year. Feels like Christmas was not that long ago. And then it also feels like it was, well, months ago, which it was. Uh, today's the 25th, so it was two months ago. And today is International Tell a Fairy Tale Day. And so I thought I would focus my blog post this week on telling fairy tales. And the one that came to my mind out of my books is Fairy Blade Unmade, which is uh, number seven in the Reg Rollins Psychic Investigator series. Uh, obviously, from the title, it uh, does talk about fairies in this particular one. Uh, there's fairies in a lot of the books in this series, so feel free to check out some of the others as well. You can download the first in the series, What the Cat Knew, for free. And I thought I would do a short reading from Fairy Blade Unmade today. And you can also hop over to my blog to check out some of the other books that I have listed. Uh, grown-up books, most of them mysteries that have something to do with fairies. All right, so going to read from Chapter 8 in Fairy Blade Unmade. Reg sat on the bed beside Calliopeia, dreading the moment when she would connect and Calliopeia's pain would overwhelm her. She didn't want to go too deep. If she could connect just enough to find out what it was that had happened to Calliopeia, that was all she needed. Then she would know whether she could allow Ruan at her bedside or not, and if the, if the fairies would allow it. And maybe, just maybe, someone would be able to tell her what she needed to do to heal Calliopeia. There had to be a way to overcome the wounds she'd been given. If she'd been a human, she would have been in intensive care, not just lying in a bed at home with a cold compress on her head, hoping that she would heal by herself. It seems the height of foolishness that they were not able to treat her medically. Then again, Reg herself had once had a magical wound that no amount of allopathic medicine had been able to heal, and Starlight had received a magical curse that had kept him from recovering from being poisoned. There were magic spells that could make injuries worse or prevent them from being healed. Callie, Calliopeia, do you know who this is? She didn't touch Calliopeia at first, not physically and not psychically. She just sat beside her, reaching out with her voice. It's Reg Rollins, Callie. Do you remember me? Do you remember how I rescued you from that dungeon, my friends and I? We helped you once before. There was no sign of, of movement or understanding from Calliopeia. She lay there as if she were asleep, oblivious to everything going on around her. But Reg knew when she had joined with Callie before, she'd been able to see and hear everything. Calliopeia knew that Reg was sitting there, could hear every word she was saying. But did she care? Did she understand that Reg was trying to help her? And was there any possibility Reg could do something for her? Callie, talk to me. Calliopeia's lips moved, otherwise she lay still as a statue, and just as pale as marble. She looked like something that had been carved by a great artist, and then left there to lie on the bed until someone could, somehow, magic it to life. Reg reluctantly reached out toward Calliopeia and let the very tips of her fingers touch. Almost as soon as she did, she felt a rush of movement, the roar of waves, and was nearly overwhelmed with the pain in her side. She tried to stay sitting up, tried to pretend that it wasn't affecting her like it was. Calliopeia, what happened? Show me what happened. There was too much pain. Reg couldn't see anything through it. She opened her wide she opened her eyes wide enough to see the bandages on Calliopeia's side, and she touched them gently, trying to soothe the pain. She didn't have a gift for healing, but she had helped to give Starlight strength when he'd been sick, and she tried to dig down deep into that part of herself and to ease it just a little. Reg? She could hear Damon speaking to her, but he was far away. It's too much, Reg. You're going to lose yourself. Reg shook her head. She knew she could do it. If they would just let her, she could give Callie the strength she needed, find out what had happened to her, and find a way to heal her wound. Reg could do all of that if she just focused hard enough and had all, this, all of the skills. 
but she worried she didn't have any gift but psychic ability, and all too often even that failed her. She had figured out where Calliopeia was, but was that just a good guess? Where else was she going to go if she was injured? Reg poured all of the energy she could into the wound, trying to envision it, to explore it even though it was covered. She tried to knit together the flesh to staunch the leaking blood, to encourage Calliopeia's body to heal itself the way it was meant to. What had happened to her? How did a fairy get attacked in the middle of the night? Surely she had protections around her room and her bedchamber. She would have done whatever she could to avoid being harmed by an enemy. Unless Ruan were the enemy. All right, so that is... A chapter from Fairy Blade Unmade. Well, not a chapter. That's part of a chapter from Fairy Blade Unmade. Uh, if you would like to go ahead and pick it up today. And there's the previous cover for Fairy Blade Unmade. Love the little graphics there. And my newest release, so you don't forget, is Time to Your Elf, which is. Uh, Book number 14 in the Reg Rollins series. So you can pick that up today and head on over to my blog to pick up some other fairy stories for Tell a Fairy Tale Day. All right, I will talk to you again next week.